Now, there's no doubt that coronavirus outbreak has proven to be stressful for people. Fear and anxiety about a disease has overwhelmed and caused strong emotions in both adults and children. This pandemic will cause a spike in mental health problems that could persist long after the most immediate threat of the virus is over. More in our next report. First, isolation and depression, then coronavirus. They say the best prescription for older and vulnerable people is self-isolation. But this prescription can come at a great cost, as people are often left alone to deal with coronavirus-caused complications. This nursing home at Brussels is already feeling the impact of prolonged lockdown, with carers saying they themselves have barely had time to grieve. Usually we get a couple deaths a month. Now we are already at 13 deaths. We don't have time to take it in. We have barely had time to process that someone has died before we are already taking care of the next death. The nursing home staff is worried that the current situation will ensure more people die of loneliness than from COVID-19. It's time for this lockdown to stop because we have people who have lost weight. We have people whose state of health is bad. We see grey faces. This is scary. If the lockdown goes on for a few more months, more residents will die of loneliness than from COVID-19. People now have to deal with two problems, thanks to the coronavirus. First, the heightened risk of serious illness or death, and second, the mental health effects from the fear that this will happen. It's sad not being able to see anyone anymore, to be alone. You fear the worst at that moment. You don't have time to think about many things. Sadly, experts expect to see high levels of post-traumatic stress disorder and depression in people who contract COVID-19 and need to be hospitalized and healthcare workers who are on the front lines battling the virus.